Welcome to Tunis School. This is the present perfect. Formation, how do we make it? Very simple. You must know it, of course. With I, you, we, and they, we use the have, the verb to have, have plus past participle. With she, she, and it, have becomes has, third person singular, plus the past participle of the verb. Uses. When do we use the present perfect? We use it for an action that began sometime in the past and continues now. Example, our company has existed for 75 years. For an action repeated in the past and which has not stopped being repeated now. Example, we have made spare parts since our foundation. Here, because the action happened in the past, was repeated in the past, is going to be, to be repeated in the future, and is repeated now, we can use the progressive form, which is, we have been making spare parts since our foundation. We often use a clause with since. Since to show when something started in the past. Example, they have been staying with us since last week. I have worked here since I left school. I've been watching that program every week since it started. We also use the present perfect when we are talking about our experience up to the present. Example, I have visited Paris three times. Note, we often use the adverb ever to talk about our experience up to the present. My last birthday was the worst day I have ever had in my life, of course. We use never for the negative form. Yes, but I've never met his wife. That means I met Mr. John or Mr. Brown, but I have never met his, his wife. We also use the present perfect to speak about something that happened in the past, but has a direct impact on the present. It has an influence on the present. It happened sometime in the past, of course. It has an influence. It happened in the past, but has an influence on the present and on the future. Example. I can't get in the house. I've lost my keys. The fact of losing the keys has an influence on not being able to get in the house. Teresa isn't at home. I think she has gone shopping. I'm tired out. That means I'm very tired. I've been working all day. These are all consequences of the second part. Uh, in fact, this uh, 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 way of using the present perfect is generally used for the news. The news on TV or on the radio are uh, used so much the present perfect. President so has met president, uh, another president. Of course, the meeting has got an importance, an influence, an impact on the present and on the future in the decisions they have taken. We generally use the present perfect with the following time indicators when we deal with the present context. When you're talking about the present, we use these words. We use the present perfect with the word since. 
We have worked for this company since 1999. With the word for. We have worked for this company for 18 years. Of course, after since you need to have a definite time. After for a period of time. With already. I have already finished the work which the boss gave me yesterday. With so far, which means until now or up to now, up to this moment. So far, our company has made a profit of $500,000. Lately, which means recently, Example, we have recently signed a work contract with a big foreign company. And we use also with just, the present perfect, with just. We have just signed the contract. And we'll start the work, of course, tomorrow. In questions, we use, we use the word ever. Have you ever visited a Japanese company? Ever, that means in your life. Well, I hope it was clear. Thank you so much. See you next time.